What's up, everyone? Welcome to this latest episode of We Ride at Dusk. So we're switching it up a little bit here in the end because I really like in the night rides. It's uh, peaceful at night. It's quiet. Everyone's sleeping. And I get to ride around on a double yellow line and uh, take over the roads. Cruise over here to church right here in front of a Lady of Lords Church here in Malvern, Long Island, New York. And uh, we're on day 345 today of the 365 day journey. 20 days left for the journey. And uh, yeah, got the green bike out tonight. It's a pretty night. Not too bad out. So we gotta get your message of the day. And um, we don't wanna talk about do you take no for an answer? So when things come to you, do you give up or do you think outside the box? You figure out another way you can do something when something doesn't work or do you just take no for an answer? Um, for example, today I was looking at a property with a friend and client and the property's interesting and the seller is an old timer and there's some CO issues with the property. And the seller um, said he doesn't want anything to do with banks. There's not anyone coming in and giving him problems with uh, CO issues and whatnot from the town. And that he wanted a cash only offer. And this building is you know, around a million bucks. So a million bucks cash is kind of hard to come by. So at that moment, I think, uh, I was a little deflated and I said, no, 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 we're going to find the money. You're going to buy the building and then we're going to refinance it out uh, as soon as you close. And within a month or so, you'll have your money back and we'll make this work. And more than uh, one way to skin a cat, as they say. So I got my lender on the phone and we started talking about different scenarios and what we can do. And... Um, there's a couple of different ways we can make the deal happen. But um, if we would have just took no for an answer, if we would have said, hey, all you want is cash, I don't have a million bucks cash, like, sorry, I can't do the deal, um, there'd be no opportunity there. But because we think outside the box and we figure out where we can get a million bucks cash from quick, um, I have sources for hard money, we'll buy the building, as soon as he closes, we'll have the loan set up, basically ready to go. And um, he'll refinance the building, cash his money back out, pay down the hard money, and he'll own a building that a lot of people couldn't buy because when the owner says he was only taking cash deals, no banks, most people walk away. And that's where you make money on in this world and opportunities that everyone else is afraid of. Um, so think about stuff in your life. Think about when you hit a roadblock and do you take no for an answer? Or do you get outside the box and think about another way to do it? Um, there's always another way to do it. There's always a way to make things happen. Sometimes risk versus reward, it's not worth it. We always have to evaluate that. But when you're hitting a roadblock, there's gotta be another way. There's gotta be another way around. Um, don't give up when you get no for an answer. Um, when I'm putting an offer in on a house, and I'm not the highest offer, I don't give up. I do whatever it takes to figure out what it's gonna to take to sell a house. Sometimes it's not so much to offer, sometimes it's the terms. Sometimes the seller needs time to find another house. And if my buyer has time, that makes my offer more attractive. Um, that's a big part of it. Uh, sometimes uh, they're worried about if the house is gonna appraise. If my buyer waives the appraisal contingency, and we just don't wave it all away. We wave 20,000 of it or so, just to give us a little cushion. And that takes some of the pressure off the uh, buyer that it's gonna appraise. Um, sometimes uh, we wave a home inspection. If the house is a good house, we look over all the, all the main parts. Um, and we don't make the house subject to a home inspection because a lot of times in a home inspection, what people used to do, not so much in this market, but the game was offer a high price then get the home inspector and beat the house up and tell me you want a $20,000 credit. So when this market started getting crazy, a lot of people were playing that game. So they come in with 20,000 over asking price over the last offer or whatever. 
and as soon as the home inspector would show up, they'd say everything was wrong with the house and they want twenty, thirty thousand dollars off the price to get it back down to a normal, you know, regular price. And I stopped that game long ago. Uh, when I accept an offer, I tell them it's pretty much as is. Um, you know, if there's a safety issue, we can talk about it. But uh, if you saw the house and there was something wrong with it when you saw it and you put an offer in, you can't expect the uh, seller to fix that in a seller's market. In a buyer's market, you can get them to do more stuff because they're looking for you to buy the house. But um, don't take no for an answer. When um, someone tells you that um, something can't be done, there's definitely a way for it to be done. Um, again, risk versus reward is not always the best option, but um, there's usually always a second option. So explore your options. Don't take no for an answer. Uh, and you won't get, if you keep taking no for an answer, you won't get what you want out of life. So um, when you hit that roadblock, start thinking, think outside the box, talk to people, um, talk to people that have gone there before you, <coughs> learn what they've done to overcome the problem you're having. <coughs> And um, yeah, that's how you win. That's how you win. You don't give up. Anyway, let's jump on prayers. We're over here at the church, a Lady Lord's Church over here. Pretty night. <coughs> My allergies are acting up. All this pollen. But let's get prayers in. The Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <coughs> Dear God, help us to find uh, another way around when we hit roadblocks. Help us to not give up. Help us to have faith, and help us to look outside the box and figure out how we can make things happen when they're not happening easily for us. Um, help us to be thankful for all your opportunity that is given to us and help us to take advantage of every opportunity that is given to us and to not, uh, not neglect uh, opportunity in our lives. Amen. <coughs> all right, so you got your message of the day, day 345 of the 365 day journey, 20 days left of this journey. The weather's finally getting decent to ride. So I uh, hope everyone's having a great Wednesday. Uh, I was in the city early this morning, uh, up at 5 a.m., trekking out to the city for 7 a.m. Measured up a job site, got some cool pictures out the 58th floor of the MetLife building. Pretty cool. I posted them earlier, I think on Instagram. I don't know if I posted them here. And then I shot home from there, went out to Huntington, I showed a property out in Huntington. Then I went from Huntington to Hewlett, showed a property in Hewlett, <coughs> and then came home, watched TV with the kitties a little bit on the couch, uh, had dinner, and here I am doing my ride, and then to bed for another fun, exciting day tomorrow. Um, all right, everyone, have a great night. Put your head on a pillow every night knowing you're making the world a better place. Fire starts fire, let's go.